A field of eight two-year-old trotting colts for the first of four eliminations for the Kentucky Sire Stakes. You have to finish in the top two to guarantee a spot in the final, and one third-place finisher will be drawn by lot. They're at the post, and here they come. And they're off. Good beginning for Chevy Poker Chip, who trots out for the lead. Sir Ned is right alongside him. Orlando Hall on the far outside third. And Miller has great challenger well in hand in the early stages. He's come out trotting in fourth. Mr. Gator slides over against the pylons in fifth. Then it's Ivory Hall, who's sixth on the inside. Pre is parked on the outside. He'd like to settle seventh just in front of super high octane as they trot toward the opening quarter marker. On the lead, it's Chevy Poker Chip with Sir Ned settling nicely into the two-hole second. Got just a bit steppy there as they hit the quarter in 29-1. and one. So Sir Ned is now about three and a half lengths from the lead. Then it's two and a half further back to Orlando Hall. And Miller is patient so far with the heavy favorite, Great Challenger, going off stride, super high octane at the back of the pack where he trails the field. Mr. Gator is gapped about two lengths behind Great Challenger, trotting in the fifth spot. Then it's two more to Ivory Hall. Pre is showing the whip from seventh. And after the break, trying to catch the field is super high octane. They're still straight alignment. And Chevy Poker Chip is making the pace here. He's halfway home in 59 seconds flat. Sir Ned enjoying that perfect pocket trip has closed the gap. He's drafting along there in second. Orlando Hall is racing in third. And now Miller makes his move with Great Challenger. And Great Challenger edges off the pylons coming first over. He's about three lengths from the lead as they near the three-quarter marker. Mr. Gator races in fifth. He's gapping there, so Ivory Hall looks to loop around him. Pre is seventh and super high octane as far back trailing the field as they hit three quarters in 129 and three. Chevy Poker Chip is still in front at the top of the stretch, but Great Challenger is marching steadily toward the lead on the outside, and Great Challenger with smooth and fluid strides has taken command. Chevy Poker Chip is back in second. Ivory Hall is closing well on the outside third. Sir Ned is racing in fourth, but it is a wrapped up great challenger who's trotting home comfortably and great challenger wins it by five lengths ivory hall was second and pre was up for third in 158 and two fifths scoring with one of the best looking two-year-olds here at the red mile this fall number one great challenger great challenger 160 thousand dollar tender saws by last year's by conway hall out of Alley's Cat by Meadow Road, owned by Arlene and Jewel Siegel of New Hope, Pennsylvania. They had a pretty good day at Delaware, too, yesterday, winning a jug elimination and, and uh, big check in the final with Armbro Animate. Jim Campbell, the trainer of Great Challenger. So that's three in a row at the Red Mile for Great Challenger and a striking Sabra half-sister to Great Challenger as part of the Walnut Hall Limited consignment to sell at Tannersalls a week from tomorrow on Saturday September 27th. So Great Challenger takes the first Kentucky Sire Stakes elimination. Walter Fister of Wallstand Farms in Kentucky making the trophy presentation. Results official, 